Breast cancer is the second most commonly diagnosed cancer worldwide and the most common in the UK. It is much more common in the Western world, with four times as many cases in Western Europe than in parts of Africa and Asia. Therefore, something about modern life may be influencing breast cancer development. A recent risk factor for the disease involves the disruption of your body clock, also known as your circadian rhythm. In my final year project, I have been looking at the ways circadian disruption can influence breast cancer development. Our body clock coordinates daily rhythms that respond to the 24-hour environment around us, such as the day and night cycle. The eye senses levels of light, informing the brain what time of day it is. This light information is received by an area of the brain called the suprachiasmatic nucleus, or the SCN for short. Every part of the body has its own clock. The SCN acts to coordinate these clocks, synchronising processes within the body according to what time of day it is. The daily changes in light information received by the SCN resets components of the internal clock, creating fluctuations of these components over a period of 24 hours. Such components exhibiting this 24-hour rhythm include the clock genes period, cryptochrome, clock and BMAL1. When our body clock becomes disrupted, rhythmic fluctuation of clock genes becomes weaker and out of sync. This disruption is commonly seen in people who work irregular shift patterns, such as nurses, due to frequent exposure to light at night time. Constant light exposure during the night disturbs the SCN, disrupting the coordination of circadian rhythms around the body. These clock genes have now been found to influence the division of your cells. Disturbing your circadian rhythm could therefore lead to cells growing and reproducing uncontrollably, potentially forming cancerous tumours. Researchers at the University of Manchester are working to better understand these mechanisms that connect our internal body clock to breast cancer. Strong associations have been found between mutations of clock genes and breast cancer risks. In fact, several clock genes have been found to be tumor suppressors, such as the period gene. Loss of period 2 um, leads to dysregulation of cell cycle, and it increases EMT, a critical process in the development and progression of breast cancer. In our laboratory uh, at Manchester, we have shown that several key cell types in the mammary gland contain functional body clocks, and these clocks control hundreds of rhythmic genes, and many of those genes have been implicated in fundamental cellular processes, such as cell cycle, hormone responses, um, and stem cell function. Importantly, during aging, the strength or the robustness of the body clock in the mammary gland tissue has been dampened by about 70%. Research is indicating that repeatedly disrupting your circadian rhythm may increase breast cancer risk. However, more research is needed to fully understand how this works. And it must be highlighted that breast cancer risk only increases after many, many years of repeated disruption. Circadian disruption therefore poses a major public health issue that has yet to receive the recognition it deserves. Modern society may have to rethink working hours to increase the functioning of our incredibly important body clocks.